This finally fixed my mods. Today we're gonna be talking about Sims 4 mods that are not working and the potential causes for both Mac and Windows. So the number one reason why your mods are not working on your computer or on your laptop is that your mods are not compatible with your game versions. If you didn't know, an old mod won't work on a new game version. So it's always, always nice to check the dates that you've installed those specific mods. So to do that, you can access your documents, electronic cards, the Sims 4, and then mods folder. If you're on Windows, you can click multiple times on this type column until you see these TS4 script files showing right at the top of your list. Right next to them, you can also see the dates that those have been modified. And basically those dates aren't the dates that you've downloaded them, but those are the dates that the creators created them, if that makes any sense. If you're on Mac, you can very easily access your mods folder and then type in the search field inside your mods folder TS4 script and then all of your script mods should show up right over here and you should be able to check the dates for yourself. You can also open up your game right now and check the bottom right corner of your screen. There is where you can, you know, see the actual game version. If you're not familiar, Familiar with game versions, you can very easily look them up on Google, search your game version and find out the day that that specific update that you've installed has been released. And then just compare the two dates. So if your mod is older than your update release date. Obviously those won't work and won't function properly, so make sure you delete any out-of-date mods from your mods folder and install the latest versions instead. By the way, just a side note, if you have just installed an update via Origin or Steam, don't expect those mods updates to be posted instantly. It usually takes like one to two to three days for them to be posted. In some cases, there might be some mods that are automatically updated. Keep an eye on this some forum because this keeps up with all the updates that mods and CC receive after a patch release so it's very very helpful. Your mods aren't working because you're not unzipping the mods before putting them into your mods folder. So if you didn't know about how you can install mods in your game, you need to basically put them right over here. If those are packaged files, you can just put them as they are, but if they have a RAR, a zip, a 7z extension, usually a very weird extension, those will need to be unzipped. So for Windows users, you will need to use a file extractor program. That can be 7-zip, that can be WinRAR. I personally recommend WinRAR. It's also free to download, so I'm gonna make sure to link it in my description down below as well. Basically, if you're on Windows, you just need to download your mod, see if it's a zip or an archive. An archive means that that specific file has the extensions that I've mentioned before. So if your file does have that extension, you need to right click on it, open it and then browse your WinRAR program. Or you can simply just, uh, you know, open up your WinRAR program and drag and drop your desired mod file that has those specific extensions. If you are on Mac, you just need to double click on those particular files that have the zip RAR, you know, 7-zip extension, and those will be automatically unzipped. And that specific unzipped file should be put inside your mods folder. Now, keep in mind that that specific unzipped file can also be a folder. It can also be an individual, you know, file. It can also contain multiple individual files. So make sure you select all of them and then just drag and drop them into your main mods folder. And that is applicable for both Mac and Windows users. Number three, your mods are not turned on in your game. So if you're not familiar with mods, or if you've maybe forgotten about this teeny tiny detail, you actually need to enable or turn on your mods inside your game. You can very easily do that on the main startup screen, or you can do it in live mode as well. You just need to click on these three dots, go to game options, other, and then make sure you tick 
both of these two boxes. Script mods allowed and enable custom content and mods. And then don't forget about apply changes. And also keep in mind that you should restart your game in order for those to take effect. And that is applicable for both Mac and Windows users. If that does not work for you and if those settings keep resetting, I actually have a very recent helpful video that walks you through this whole process, this whole tutorial on how you can fix settings that keep resetting and you can very easily enable your mods using a particular file inside your TS4 folder. So make sure you check out that video. Number four, your mods may not be working because of an update. After installing a brand new update, your mods will basically become out of date and will be automatically disabled by the game. That is just a safety measure taken by the EA team, by the Sims team, because they want to prevent, you know, glitches, issues that may be tied to your out of date mods as much as possible. So don't worry about that. Don't be angry at them. You just need to simply remove your script mods and then put the new fresh updated mods instead inside your mods folder. And then obviously you will need to access your game options, re-enable your mods in CC. Just tick those two boxes, apply changes, restart your game, and then your mods should basically just show up right at a startup in this mods or custom content list. Number five, there's too much game cache. If you didn't know, whenever you are planning on installing the latest versions for your mods, you will also need to delete the local thumb cache package file, which is located inside your documents, electronic cards, the Sims 4 folder. This basically removes any game cache that may have accumulated over time from your mods files, from your saves, from from your, I don't know, from your gallery. It's always, always great to remove that cache, especially before you know, placing your brand new updated mods inside your mods folder. And that is applicable for both Windows and Mac users. Number six, there may be some improper or unsaved settings. If you're dealing with unsaved settings, you just need to delete the following file, which is called options.ini or options. If your computer doesn't show up the extension of that specific file, it's basically the very same file. And that file is located within your documents electronic cards, the Sims 4 folder. So just delete that file. This will basically reset all of your game's options. Don't worry, you won't lose anything. This is only tied to your options. And then you'll need to open your game, go to options, game options, and redo all of your usual options. Apply changes and then restart your game. Number seven, some mods files might be corrupt. So in this case, you really want to remove your particular problematic mod, re-download it and reinstall it inside your mods folder. Now, you might be wondering, how do I know that I have mods that are corrupt? Well, the best way to know is to actually just take out all of your mods and test them out one by one and see which one's the problematic one. Or you can use the better exceptions mod that should trigger a report that basically tells you, hey, this is a problematic mod and you should delete it. I have a whole video on that if you're interested. So yeah. Number eight, some mods may not be seen by your or game. In this case, you can very easily, you know, just reset your mods folder. Maybe you have some problems tied to your mods folder that is no longer recognized by your games. You should do this with your game and any other app closed, just so you make sure that everything is closed. Restart your PC or computer or laptop and then just start off with no apps, no programs opened. You just need to access your documents, electronic cards, The Sims 4, and then right click on your mods folder, click rename and rename it into mods old. Now you don't need to delete this folder because we are going to use it later on. Now you should just open up your game, completely close it, do not go in any of your households, and now a brand new mods folder should pop up inside your TS4 folder. So you should now have two different folders, mods and mods old. Now you just want to go into your mods old folder, hit control A on your keyboard or command A, select all of your files, copy them 
and then just simply paste them into your brand new mods folder that has just been generated. And by the way, if this message pops up about replacing your resource CFG file, do not replace it. Just skip that file because we need this brand new resource CFG file because that one may be corrupt and we don't want to, you know, just uh, replace this brand new one, which is clean with a broken one, if that makes any sense. So just skip that file. Do not replace your resource CFG file when you're pasting your mods in here. Number nine, there might be some issues tied to your game. You can basically avoid that and prevent that. But before you do that, make sure you back up your whole entire electronic cards folders. To back up your electronic cards folder, you just need to copy and paste it somewhere else on your computer. It can also be on an external drive, on a flash drive, onto another laptop that is working fine and that won't you know just mess with your files just make sure that you have all of your files in place and secured and to actually tell if all of your files have been you know just copied to that other location you can just right click on it and then go to properties and basically compare the sizes of those two folders see if those have the very same size and therefore you'll be assured that all of your files are safe and copied into your other location. Now, once you back it up, you have three options to actually fix your game. So you can one, repair your game, two, you can uninstall and reinstall your game, and three, you can reset your game. If you didn't know, I've actually talked about this very solution about resetting your game, so make sure you check out this video, this is very helpful, and this will 100% fix your issues once again. Do not panic if after resetting your game, you won't see any save files or sims or houses within your game because what you actually need to do is to basically copy your files from your old electronic cards folder to this new one to be actually able to have them back into your game. So do not panic, do not stress. All you need to do is to copy those particular files that I've talked about in this very video. 10. There might be some issues tied to your sims. To prevent any issues that may be tied to a particular household, you can very easily play that very household just loaded. Click on these three dots over here in live mode and instead of save, please click on save as and just give a name to this particular save. This will be a brand new save that will still contain all of your progress up until now, but you are creating a brand new slot and you just want to access that slot whenever you are reloading your game. So exit your game, reopen it, and then go to load game. And instead of selecting the old save file, just play with this new save file that you've just created. If that does not fix your issue, you can additionally reset your sim as well. So I've talked about this in this particular video. I'm not going to cover it in here. Make sure you check that out if you want to reset set your sim. 11. You don't have the required packs for that specific mod that you're trying to, you know, play with. If you didn't know, I was very excited about this open world mod, but I actually found out that it wasn't working in my game because I didn't have a particular expansion pack. And also I was very excited about this farming mod, but unfortunately you just need to have or to own cats and dogs in order for it to work properly as well as some other packs. 12. You might have conflicting mods in CC within your mods folder. So to actually tell if you have conflicting mods in CC within your game, I highly highly suggest that you try out this better exceptions mod. You can very easily trigger a report and see if you have any problematic or out of date or conflicting CC within your mods folder. If you liked this type of content, please make sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good jazz. Hit a notification bell to be notified whenever I'm uploading a new video because it truly truly helps me a lot thank you so much and I'll see you next time with a brand new exciting and helpful video for you have an awesome day just like you bye guys